So welcome back to finals day at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. Two finals have been completed and up next is men's singles. It's the 2017 world champion and reigning Olympic champion, Victor Axelson, the number one seed, up against the reigning and three-time world junior champion, Kulawut Widersan. Well, as far as the men's singles draw is concerned. We had seven different nationalities by quarterfinal stage. Two Indonesians, but both the Indonesians lost in the quarterfinals. So four different nationalities and three seeds at semi-final stage. The only non-seeded player was Zhao Jungpeng, the left-hander from China. Chao Tian Chen through to the semi-final uh, first time after four quarterfinal defeats. So it is Victor Axelson, the number one seed and former champion, up against the reigning world junior champion, Kunlawut Widisan. was here in Tokyo a year ago that Victor Axelson won the Olympic gold medal. He already has two medals from world championships. A bronze in 2014 on home soil in Copenhagen. And gold five years ago in Glasgow when he beat Lindan in the final. He's had an extraordinary year so far. He's won five titles, having entered and played in eight tournaments, but he's only had one loss because two of his tournaments he withdrew after a first round match before the second round, so it doesn't go down as a loss. Well, it is quite extraordinary to be saying that this man is the reigning world junior champion, Kunlawut Widersan. Had we not had a global pandemic, uh, there would have been two other world junior champions since he last won his world junior championship in Kazan in 2019. But he did create a record at World Junior Championships, three consecutive titles, first men singles player to achieve that, although the third player in total. Arachno Gintanon in the women's singles and Chen Ching Cheng, who we just see in the women's doubles, the other two to have achieved that feat. Well, this is the fifth meeting between these two players and uh, Victor Axelson has won all four previous, but not only at the final of the World Tour Finals in Bali last year, he's won all of his matches in two straight games. So Victor Axelson wins the toss of the coin and has chosen the ends, and he's chosen to start the more difficult end hitting with the drift it's more difficult with clears and pushes and he always chooses ends if he has the opportunity to do so
Well, only seeded 16. We decide against the number one seed, Victor Axelson. Axelson is 28 years of age now, born in Orzenza, and he is a very tall athlete, as you can see, 194, is six foot four, and he's enjoying his 90th week in total as world number one. It's his third different spell, and this is his seventh world championships. At the last World Championships, he was the number two seed and he lost in the very first round to Loken Yu, who went on to win the gold medal. But here in Tokyo, in the first round, he beat the 2018 bronze medalist, uh, Darren Liu. Uh, then he beat Mal Mark Kaljo of the Netherlands in two straight games. Sitikom Tamasin of Thailand uh, was his opponent in the third round, a quarter-final, a much-anticipated match against the Olympic bronze medalist Anthony Sinisukaginting, but it was just 10 and 10 in 41 minutes. The semi-final against the number four seed, Chotian Chen of Chinese Taipei. That was a seventh straight win in two games against Cho. So to the number 16 seed, he's only 21 years of age, is Kunlawuta Widesan, uh, born in Chombori. And he's playing off his career high of 17 on the world ranking. It's his fourth consecutive week. And this is only his second World Senior Championships in Welva. Like his opponent, he lost in the very first round. He lost to Lu Guangzhou of China. But he's had a good tournament here in the first round. He beat the 2014 bronze medalist Tommy Sugiato in two straight Ready games. Second round was a repeat of the 2018 World Junior Championship final against Nakaroka. Then in the third round, he played another Japanese player, Nishimoto. That was two games as well. In the quarterfinal, he defeated the defending champion, Lo Ken Yu, the only time he went to three games. But look at the third game score, 21-8 in an hour and five minutes. And in the semi-final, beat the left-handed Zhao Zhongpeng of China. Again, a very, very comfortable second game. So 22-20, 21-6 in that semi-final. So Simon Alman Feng from Hong Kong, China, is our umpire for this one, and service judge Sakamoto of Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kunawut returns round, Thailand. And on my left, Victor Axelson, Denmark. Victor Axelson to serve. Level play. So the former champion and reigning Olympic champion Victor Axelson of Denmark getting this final underway against the reigning world junior champion Kulnavut Udisan. Oh my goodness, between the legs. Thai player has got delightful shots, wonderful racket skills. What a good opening rally. Brilliant. And that's going to be one of the issues for Widdesan. He's getting the shuttle over the tall day to the back of the court. Well, only the second day never to contest two World Championship men's singles finals after Morton Frost in 85 and 87. Two. So obviously, Steam, the head to head suggests that. Victor Axelson is the overwhelming favourite, but we've been watching Widdesan all week, and we've been very impressed with him. Indeed, but uh, the odds are stacked against him. Uh, he lost the uh, 
coin Thank toss. You. Eventually, in a, an eventual Thank third you. game, finishing on the uh, more difficult side to play. And the four previous meetings, not only has he lost in straight games, he's Two. scored fewer and fewer nah. points. 29 in the first match, 24 in the second, then 22, and then 20. So he's got difficulties scoring against Axelsen. But I agree with you, Jill. He's played very well in this tournament here. And if he could unsettle Axelsen a little bit from the beginning here, uh, then he might have a chance. If Axelsen gets the feeling that um, this is business as usual, Three, then it could five. be uh, not so fun. Yeah. The former uh, Danish um, international and um, rival to Victor Axelsen when Axelsen grew up, Jano Jorgensen, he was on, and he said one right. of the uh, one of the traps of playing up against the drift is that you get too passive. You feel that you can play the full court and um, that you can easily lift, and that's totally correct. You shouldn't lift. You should attack. And then you can push to the corners like we see there, making the court pick. That's well played. Seven, over. But it's, you, you cannot One. think hey, I can play Four. like normal because the chance are then that you're going to play too short because the shuttle arrives a little bit faster on your side. And if you're sort of like leaning back a little bit um, in quotation marks, but but trying to play a normal game, that, that won't be enough. Oh, yeah. Good follow up. Those long leaders in his. And he Five. can One. reach forward and kill anything that's a little bit loose at the front of the court. Yeah. And I, I've seen, uh, I think I've even called a couple of the uh, previous times I've met Axelsen and uh, Vitisan. And, and one of the things is that Vitisan has not been able to um, defend himself against Axelsen's attack. So that's going to be one of the uh, main issues. That's landed in. Six. One. Challenge here from Witterson. Witterson challenges called out. It was close. And there is a bit of sideways drift that may have brought it back in, but I thought it was just wide. And they do very well on the challenges today. No, I have my predictions. Ah, I was right that time. Good call by the line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven, one, play. Anticipation down the backhand side Seven. of the Dane from Widdersun. Seven. Oh, oh that's it. timed.
of beauty. Yeah. And his pass to the net was with the sun. Delightful forehand cross court net shot. And that's where okay, thank you. one of the thank areas you. where Vitisan, sorry, 58 shot that rarely, where, where Vitisan could have um, an advantage perhaps over Axis. And uh, we've seen very good net play from um, the World Junior Three, Champion throughout seven. this tournament. The right. problem is there's not been a whole lot of shots played at the net, but I still saw some. Um, I think maybe it's been accidental, but um, if Vitesan plays the middle of the court a bit more, like instead of playing the corners, play the back line to the middle, so that he takes away some angles from Axelsen. Uh, and then when he's really on top of the rally, you know, like 70% of the plays accurate shots like this, then that, that might be a possibility also attacking the body, seeing if they can get into some flat game exchanges mid-court, and then Vitesan being the one breaking off. Widdesant, because he knows that he had the opportunity. That wasn't the right choice of shot from Victor Axelson. Well, there were some good things in that rally as well. Uh, Thank you. If you're a Thai fan, that um, Axelson uh, was me? forced to uh, Sorry? attack from out of balance. On the line, yes. Eight, four, play. And that means that Mitsuzan got his defense a little bit more going. Short. Now that's clever because that Nine, wasn't full power. Four. All about angle and placement, and Widdison had nothing to feed off for his defensive shot. is that when, when Vitesan is too late on the front court, he cannot just uh, <coughs> lift it straight. If we Hello? think back to the Lindan era, when he um, attacked and uh, was uh, faced with a good court? defense from uh, um, Li Chung Wei, when he came to the net, it was always a high cross lift that gave him as much time as possible Ten, to get back in the four. defense position. It's a seven-point advantage 
Four victor Det fungerer rigtig godt at lade ham komme i gang. Ja, ja, det er fint. Ja. God højde på løften. Det er perfekt, når, du, når han ligger der. Ikke? Man kan sige, der hvor han kan spille kontra, det er hvis vi hænger lidt, og så slår, ligger og slår stik mod hans forhånd, så ligger han og drejer os helt fuldt. Den sidste her. Anything we should be aware of from Thomas Stangor there on no, the coaching? Not really. It was mostly affirmations of uh, what's been happening and things were going well. There's been a big, big gap in the backhand of Vitesan. Uh, The Danes definitely feel that Axelsen has the upper hand uh, in terms of physicality. So at the moment, they're not really worried. Well, it is five straight points. They should be pleased with that. Six straight points. 13, four. the uh, previous meetings between these two players. The most points um, Vitesan has scored in the game is 16. with his steep attack and um, he seems to be able to penetrate so um, he's going to come up with um, something different Vitesan this is not the way to um, challenge Axelsen but just really, really well placed. Nine straight points. Consistently set himself up for a little bit short um, lifts or clears from Axelsen.
Yeah, that's well, landed in as well. Yeah. Good flick serve. 18, Obviously, he needs to try something else with his arm, and, and now is perhaps not the right time to do it. So, from the beginning of the second game, we should hopefully see him try something different and see. Hey, I cannot beat Axelsen in this type of game. I've got to, uh, I've got to put more pressure. And uh, if that's not successful, then well, I was going to lose anyway. Well, two points away from the opening game. Victor Axelsen. Twelve of the last thirteen points. Thank you. That's going wide. Oh. Oh. I decided to play it and then made the error. Oh. It's game point opportunities game point. for the former champion, Victor Axelsson. of the last 15 points. Well, to say that Axelsson was in control of that opening game is somewhat of an understatement. 19 minutes for 21 <laughs> ファンや、ジャックレオ。ファンや、ジャックレオ。Yeah. Did they are so long time for trials. Yeah. Did the ancient two from David Chisholm did that lead for a good position? Yeah, precisely. New hands for one. Yeah, so that's the head. That's the head. So, see if we're winning the game. No. But I think we're going to get a good win. Oh, yeah. Do I? Do I? Ah, not too bad. Hey, some more tea, come on. Because he's going to win. We're 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 going to win. เขาคอนโทรลอ่ะเราตีเราตีตัวเขาคอนโทรลใช่จังหวะเราขึ้นลูกเขาก็เอาลูกลงว่าเพราะจังหวะเราก็เขาเขาคิดว่าเขาจะเอาลูกลงเพราะอะไรจังหวะที่เราโยนขึ้นเพราะฉะนั้นจังหวะที่เขาแทงจังหวะทำเกมอ่ะเราก็อย่าโยนเราก็เขี่ยลูกลงเขาตั้งตั้งไหนดึงเข้ามาเอาเขาออกไปไหมเขาแก้ไขบ้างนะนะช้าใครที่รู้เอาใหม่นะเอาให้เกมนี้So, Second game. The reigning Olympic champion. Love ball. Play. Victor Axelsson. One game to the good against Kuna Wood Widerson. Well, Kunawut Widerson is 
making history today, regardless of the end result, because he's the first on the singles player from Thailand to contest a final. In fact, he's only the second medalist One love. from Thailand in the men's singles. Gontapan Wangchalon was the first in Basel three years ago. Play. He was a bronze medalist. Lost out Two. to Anna Zantensen, the sorry. eventual silver yes. medalist. Stay on the court. Yeah. Becca, sorry. Yeah. Stay on the courts. Yeah. Well, the court is remopped. Gonna wood. One laugh. Oh, my goodness. What was that on the return of serve? He needs to attack more, put Axelsen under pressure. He cannot put him under pressure by playing clears and, uh, and lifts. One, all. Oh. So, yes, perhaps uh, with, with the shovels, the speed that they have, uh, I don't know if this could be the better side for Vitesan. Gets a little bit easier to defend Axelsen's uh, attack if he can play with accurate length and his own attack has a little bit better chance of succeeding. can hit it uh, here and he, he is apparently not sure that the um, drift against him is um, as severe as it uh, was at least yesterday but um, Stango said you can, you can just um, really uh, push it uh, hard because um, there's still this uh, drift coming against uh, the day. That means Vitesan plays with the drift and uh, and they were quite confident in just uh, putting him on the back court and letting him uh, try to score from there. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Maybe a shot like that that Mitsung can um, play on access and uh, could be important in the long run. Did you see that thumbs up as yeah, well yeah, from yeah. Axelsen? That's that was very a good sporting. Shot. It's easy when you have the first game to five. Small positive signs for Lixasan. Stepped into that axis. Yeah, he was quick off the mark. Yeah. Serve it over. Three, four. Clears. That is fantastic. What a smash. 
Alpha from Widdesan. Five, four. Inch perfect. Yeah. And the placement, especially here against Axelsen with that reach, is so much more important than power. set plays, isn't it? Yeah. Get on how to build the rally. Hello? Hello? Lager? Like well, even if you're guessing which way it's coming, the steepness of the smash is still virtually impossible to get it back. Could I boot? Will you please check? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Six O play. Son, saying to himself, what on earth do I Thank have you. to do to win a rally? Backhand defence, he took that. Pairs on court. Centimetres off the floor and whipped it cross court.
important. That's important. Oh. Two important things here in this rally. Seven. This uh, long return here on the cross Eight. smash, but he also had a long return in the other side on one of those cross uh, sticks, slices, whatever you call it. And uh, if he can uh, Thank you. sort of do that a couple of more times, create some uncertainty there. in Axel's Uncle. mind whether he's going to the net or uh, he has to go to the back line, then it opens up for these blocks where Axelson might be a little bit late on it and uh, could create some possibilities for um, for Vitesan. So coupled with perhaps lifting a bit more, like um, I mentioned earlier on, to the middle of the court instead of um, to the corners, um, taking away angles, there might be some possibilities. And he, this has Nine. not been able to dominate Eight. the net at all, um, as I um, predicted he might be able to. Well, I watched his matches against Nishimoto, then against uh, the defending champion, Thank Lokin you. Yu, and then uh, I don't think I saw the one against San Jun Pung. I wasn't calling it anyway. And Clear. I think the control of the front of the court was the main asset for this band. Yeah. And if that's been taken away today, it's the biggest asset taken away from the young Nine, yeah. Thai player. Eight. It's a problem for him. It Play. is because he's he's um, seeing a lot of backcourt. There's the deception again. Seven. Over. Nine. and isn't really creating anything when um, Vitsan plays soft into the front court. Good shot. Service over. Well, ten all. Ten all in the second game. Yeah, he's scored more than uh, Antonsen now. Did in uh, 2019, three and nine against um, Momota. Haven't been six three up. Yeah, in terms of one-sided uh, finals. And it's gone long. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that as clearly long. Out. Yeah, I agree. I think that's an emotional challenge. Problem with his shoe again. Uh, he had that in one of his previous matches yeah. as well. Yeah. Out. Challenge so it is unsuccessful. One challenge sun. remaining. Service over. Advantage. Eleven ten. Here in the interval. second game. At the mid-game interval. ไม่ต้องตีฉีกมากไม่ฉีกมากตีข้อกลางข้อกลางกับเราเราไม่เลือกนะที่จังหวะถอยเอาวันนี้ถอยเอาไม่อีกเช่นกันเลยแล้วเ
Well, I don't think we could hear any of the Danish coaching there. No, there was no sound from the Danish good box. Came in a little late. Oh. So a one point advantage. Which is wiped out immediately by Axelson. Eleven. All. He was under pressure, retrieving the drop shot. But look at this backhand, cross-court drop shot, played to perfection. since the mid-game interval and then all four points Point to Victor one. Axelsson. I thought it was good. No. I thought he was right to play it. It's a great challenge. Great challenge. Correction out. 60. 12. 
So six one since the mid game into yeah. six or seven points. as to how to proceed that that's then it I, I don't understand that don't you think that Axelson has upped his game though mm, yeah a little bit but it looks a little bit the same I mean playing that back court that that's uh, that's a dead end road it's match point opportunities points and Victor Axelson on the verge of regaining his world title that he won five years ago. Yeah. He can be satisfied with his tournament with his son. Yeah. Well, it seems some extraordinary comebacks this week. Uh, this is a tall order. Anderson yeah. could get a little edgy. Got down in defense well there. There, front court. Hey! 15, 
Monty. So three championship points have come and gone. Fourth opportunity for Axelson. a little edgy. Yeah, I think he is because he's walking directly to the coaches. So that was a, a coach's um, break he was taking there. So he doesn't believe in the challenge. No, it was clearly him. So he's got no challenges challenge left. Unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Well, I can tell you he's jumping up and down on the spot as well, Axelson. Play, put up! 16! Trying to relax 20. himself. Play. So, four of the eight championship points have come and gone. Opportunity sinks to the floor. It's a second world title. And Victor Axelson now is the reigning Olympic and world champion. 21 5, 21 16, the margin of his victory over Kunla Wood Tawidisan of Thailand. 50 minutes one by for Victor his victory. Axelson. 21 5, 21 16. Congratulated by his coaches, both Thomas Stambor and Kenny Gronison. Now he's going to throw his racket to a lucky fan. Well, a third medal but a second coveted gold. Yeah, that's lovely from Widitsan. Clapping his opponent. Yeah. He hasn't solved the uh, axis and puzzle yet, but um, he's a talented uh, player himself. Well, after the mid-game interval, of that second game. Ten of eleven points to get to 2012. The moment of victory. And a second gold for Victor Axelson. Blows a kiss to his loved ones at home. His fiance and his daughter. Their confirmation of the scoreline. Convincing scoreline. Congratulated by Paul Eric Koya, who is the BWF president. And the medalist at World Championships, but of course everybody remembers Paul Eric Koya for his goal at the Atlanta Games. Well, it wasn't just the performance today. He has won the title without dropping a game. Nobody has scored more than 17 points. I do beg your pardon. He's been 19 against Keljog. 19 points in a game.
Well, yeah, it's the longest time between the first and second gold medal of a men's singles player ever. Five years. He, he won the gold when he was quite young. Yeah. When he was 23. Oh, convincing, convincing tournament. He was a huge favourite in the beginning of the tournament. So all four medalists step forward. Zhao Junpeng, the left-hander who came here unseeded, but had a wonderful tournament beating the silver medalist from the last World Championships in the second round. Cho Tian Chen, I don't think many people would begrudge his bronze medal. At his eighth World Championship, after losing in four quarterfinals, finally a medal. And for Kuna Wood, a widow's son, a silver medal, only the second medalist from his country in the men's singles discipline. But for Victor Axelson, it is a second gold medal, a third World Championship medal in total. Big sigh of relief as much as anything because as Steen Pedersen was saying, huge pressure. He was expected to win. It's his sixth title of the year. His 40th match win of the year and only one loss in 2022. Chuo Tian Chen receives his medal. What a moment for him. Proud moment also for Zhao Zhengpeng. And the gold for a second time to Victor Axelsen of Denmark. Presentation of the trophies and the bouquet of flowers. A big, big smile from Axelson. I think we also need to make mention of Cho Tian Chen's quarter final victory over Jonathan Christie, who repeated the Asian Games final, but unlike the Asian Games in Jakarta, it was. Chorty and Chen that came out on top. He came from 10, 18 down and 15, 20 down, saving five match points before he eventually beat Jonathan Christie, 22, 20, to secure his World Championship medal. one of the victories that Victor can enjoy the most because the first time he won the world title it was a shock yeah and also the Olympic where he was in tears for like uh, a couple of hours more or less Okay. 
Emotional moments for Victor Axelson as he sang the national anthem. have been invited by the Master of Ceremonies to join Victor Axelson on top of the podium. Three of the four medalists meddling for the first time. And that's, I think, a sign of how the men's singles is diversifying. It's a 30th career title for Victor Axelson. Thank you, for the and it's the sixth and of 2022. to our next final. It's the defending champion against the Olympic champion. The Olympic champion, Chen Ufei, against Japan's defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi.
Welcome back to finals day at the Total Energies BWF World Championships here in Tokyo. Well, three of our four of our five finals have been completed and the three finals so far have all been straight games. Next up is a women's singles and it's the 